All right, good morning. My name is Lee Pagny. I work for Lighthawk, a nearly 40-year-old uh, environmental organization that uses small planes to fly for the environment. Um, and I'm also a member of the IUCN uh, SSC Iguana Specialist Group, where I try to make uh, immersive environments for showing habitat of endangered iguanas using Google tools. Um, but today I'm going to talk about a project that I started with a colleague of mine to use uh, drones to um, leverage the power of drones for the environment. Um, in 2012, California created a network of marine protected areas um, that protected 16% of the ocean in 124 separate reserves. This is the South La Jolla MPA, uh, or Marine Protected Area. It's really hard to see where it is because there's no line there, but fortunately we can uh, download the KML and see where the line is of the uh, marine protected areas. Um, a lot of poaching happens uh, in and next, or I guess in within the MPAs and on the line. So our partners wanted to see um, if we could use drones to um, help monitor these areas. Uh, you can see a fishing vessel here and it's hard to tell without that line drawn on it where that vessel is, if it's in or outside the reserve. So my colleague Jake, who flies quarter million dollar drones for his work, uh, and I launched a more modest drone. This is what we get back, uh, a bunch of tiled images, and we found out that you cannot actually create an orthomosaic of ocean images. It's a very important part of this process. You can do it on land very easily, but not of the ocean. Um, but if you have friends at Green Info Network and their great uh, GIS capabilities, they can map, uh, geo-reference one of the photos for you. Um, and this is one of those photos, and why did I choose this photo? Well, there's something interesting going on here. It's maybe hard to see on these screens, but there is a lobster diver here with a, a lobster trap, and then there is a lobster buoy there. Um, and again, Green Info Network comes in, shows us the line, and these, these guys are really fishing the line. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is the use of a small drone called a uh, Mavic Pro. And this is a quick video of, so very quickly, um, I'm creating a, a, an area for the, for the drone to fly. Um, I'm manipulating the altitude right now, and the green lines are the lines that the drone is actually going to fly. You can change the direction of them. Um, if you want to, you can change the whole area very quickly. You can see I'm going at about seven acres. It'll only take it about um, eight minutes to fly this mission. But it's really easy for a drone to deploy to do this. Thanks. And then so in about uh, two hours, you can go from this imagery to this or from this to this using a small drone. Thank you.